Selena Gomez goes salsa dancing with who? Tyga narrowly escapes prison, we'll tell you how. And the internet reacts to Malia Obama allegedly smoking a little ganja. All this and more on today's Rundown. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to The Dirt. I'm Miriam here with my girl, Viv. Hey, Miriam, how are you? I'm great, and you guys, we gotta wrap up this week with all the drama, all the shiz. And what are we gonna get started with? Let's think, you know what, it's Friday. We need to get started with some salsa dancing. Yes. <laughs> Was that a flirtatious dance or what? Obviously, yes. <laughs> oh my gosh, Miriam. So Selena Gomez took to Snapchat last night to tell all of her followers that she was a little sick. She actually had strep throat. Oh, that's and the worst. I know, apparently her doctors told her she needed some rest, so she was a little worried about her voice, but she wasn't worried about her body because she went out dancing. And she captioned the video saying, quote, when my babies take me salsa dancing, even when they told me not to because I'm sick, I don't care. Who are her babies? Um, I don't know her team members but okay she let, calls them her babies That's yeah she cute. does but let me tell you why this is a big deal so earlier this week we all saw that little Instagram video where she's cuddling up with someone so we're like is it the same someone she's dancing with yeah so after some intense snapchat stalking I realized that it's not Ellie who we all you ah, know saw her cuddling with her photographer but it's, exactly it's this guy named Toshi I believe I don't know like what his role is in the team but he's with Selena Gomez on her team and throughout her snaps you see him in the back Around and she's like hugging up on him, hug, hugging up on Ellie. I honestly hope that the next guy she dates is someone low key, maybe Ellie, maybe Toshi or Toshi or whatever his name is. I don't know. I would like to see her with someone that is not famous on Me the too. spotlight all the time. Me too. Let's like, wait and see. Julia Roberts married her cameraman and they've Did been she really? happily ever after. There we go. So there we go. Speaking of relationships, you guys, Tyga and Kylie have been having an amazing time celebrating Kylie's birthday in Turks and Caicos. Still. Still. <laughs> but meanwhile, there's there's been so much drama back at home for Tyga oh and you guys, the drama is finally coming to an end. So Tyga has decided to settle out of court okay. and he has cut a check to his ex-landlord. Hallelujah. <laughs> I'm to that. Was it for the full amount though? I don't think it was. Oh, okay, <laughs> so you guys know that there was a warrant issued for his arrest when his ex-landlord accused him of owing half a million dollars. And meanwhile, he's buying these lavish gifts for his girlfriend, was, which was just a little and questionable. Don't forget part of that lawsuit or whatever was to fix a few um, things that have had happened in that room. Apparently he installed a stripper pole in the room and the landlord had to like cover up the little hole and make it decent. I don't know if you guys <laughs> rent, but when I rent an apartment, I'm afraid of even sticking a nail yes, on the wall. I know, or like scratching the paint or something, but Tiger didn't care, so he's like, I'm gonna he put didn't a care. stripper pole. He didn't pay for it, what do you have? <laughs> so he has cut his ex-landlord Lord, a check. That does not mean, though, that his warrant for his arrest has been dropped. The actual amount that he paid is being kept under wraps. I'm just glad that he paid, period. But Tyga's lawyer is going to the courts today to speak okay. to the judge to try to get him to drop the arrest warrant. Because even though he's now paid, he still broke the law by not showing up to court. And if the judge feels like being finicky, mm -hmm. he could uh, keep the arrest out. Maybe he needs to teach him a lesson. I don't I agree. know. I also, I'm wondering if the judge is going to be like, well, isn't your girlfriend worth like $10 million? $10 million. That's a lot of money. That's I mean, a lot of money. I wonder if, she, if he borrowed the money from her. Maybe. Well, who knows? I don't know what's but happening. Here, okay, here's the thing that frustrates me. Tyga, you are famous. Ergo, you are a role model. So if you're gonna be a role model, just pay your bills. <laughs> pay your rent. You got babies, <laughs> pay your bills. Oh my God, I forgot about that, I know. Ooh. I hope he's paying the child support or else. We're gonna be talking Ooh. about Tyga soon again. And moving on in other news, Rihanna is gonna get a very special award at the MTV VMAs this year. It was just announced today by Rihanna herself via her Twitter. And she says, quote, honored to take the VMA stage as your Video Vanguard Award recipient live from New York City on August 28th. Not only am I excited because it's the first year that the VMAs are gonna be at Madison Square Garden, but also that Rihanna's gonna get this award. She's following the footsteps of Beyonce, Kanye West. Although a lot of people are saying it's too soon, I'm happy for Riri. I'm happy for Riri too. And actually, she's the only woman to have ever won Video of the Year twice. Exactly, and this year I think she's nominated in four different categories. So imagine, you're, I hope she wins them all and the Video Vanguard Award. Yeah, exactly. I wanna see Rihanna walk away as a winner. I am 
Yes. <laughs> with Rihanna's music. I am obsessed I with her music videos. They are so weird and wonderful. So oh. August 28th is the date, Miriam. We have to watch the show. It's going to be amazing. Imagine, I mean, live from New York City. Yeah. How exciting. And last but not least, was it weed? Was it a cigarette? <laughs> and what does twerking have to do with it? We've got all the details on the drama that has hit the president's daughter. <laughs> so you guys know that the world has gone oh up gosh. in arms over video of Malia Obama allegedly smoking a little, a little reefer, a little ganja, a little grass. <laughs> A little pot. I, I can oh think of so gosh. many synonyms to the word weed. Um, so she was at Lollapalooza in Chicago. It's a music festival. You're gonna twerk, okay? Because you can get the teenager out of the White House, but you can't get the 18-year-old out of a teenager. She's an 18-year-old. She's just being young, just <laughs> like the rest of us. And unfortunately, some people videotaped her smoking. It had to have been her friend, one of her friends, and I hope she's not that person's friend anymore. Yeah. That's like so the worst. Hard to trust Don't people. be a snitch. What Don't the heck? Be a snitch. Exactly. Exactly. That's ugh, so terrible. I mean, she almost made it out of the White House know, without any major drama. But you know what? I feel like I know I'm defending her, but I feel like a it wasn't weed. Like it looked like a cigarette. Like I feel like it was white. Second of all, um, this is like the least of our problems. Like this we have is the least of way problems. bigger things to worry about right we now. We need to distract <laughs> the country and if, on our priorities. If someone has to reprimand her, it's President Barack Obama, not us, and not exactly. any of you guys. Well so said. let him handle it. Well said. And besides, she's just a kid. And oh whether she was smoking a cigarette or whether she was smoking weed. I personally don't think it's a really big deal. And the twerking thing, good for you, girl. You got rhythm. You got rhythm in your <laughs> hips, and I'm proud of you. And Miriam, you know what brought, like what I started remembering was when a meme became viral. It was like Malia and her little sister, like a picture of them wearing their little dresses and little flat shoes, and then a picture of Kendall and Kylie Jenner, who dressed very sexy for their age, and they were comparing them, and they were talking about the parenting of Michelle Obama and Kris Jenner. So now I'm like, I hope they don't use this against her and say, oh, you know, we've never seen Kendall and Kylie do stuff like that. And now we're seeing Malia smoke weed. I hope they don't use that against her. We don't even know if it was weed. And even if I it know. was, I just don't think that it's a big deal. Exactly. Priorities, people. Yeah. And you know what? <laughs> a lot of celebrities are on her side. Mm -hmm. In fact, Chris Rock tweeted, Malia Obama was caught smoking weed. If she's not careful, she might end up winning 21 Olympic gold medals or becoming president <laughs> of the USA because we've had former weed smokers do those things. Zach Braff joked, saying, try to find a picture of me at Malia Obama's age, not high. And other people have basically been tweeting, let Malia Obama live. And exactly. I agree. And that's a wrap for today's Daily Hollywood Rundown. But Miriam, I honestly want to know, what do you guys think? Do you think Kylie Jenner pays for Tyga's bills? Yes, I do. <laughs> Using the lip kit money? <laughs> <laughs> I do. And also, what do you guys think of Malia? Isn't she a good kid? Isn't she going to yeah. Harvard? She's like bilingual or something. Should we be freaking out over a little weed smoking at the age of 18? Oh my gosh. You guys let us know in the comment section. Hit us up on our socials at Miriam Issa. At Viviana Fabiola V. And yes. we'll see you guys next we'll time. We'll see you guys next time on Happy Hunter. Weekend. <laughs> but wait, before you go, click the video to your right to find out if Kendall Jenner is jealous of her sister Kylie. Or click to the left for Taylor Swift deets on her new album. Is it coming out?